Get to the sale early, they say. Be the first one there, they say. I was, and the people that are holding the sale weren't even there. So welcome to Paper and Moose. Welcome to waiting in a grocery store parking lot until the sale starts. This is an estate sale. They listed some pretty good things. They said antiques, vintage toys, vintage items, old farming equipment, tools, but no pictures. I'm hopeful for the sale. They just have to get the stuff out. <laughs> so I probably will wait about half an hour, 40 minutes before I venture back. And hopefully by then they will be putting things out and we will see what treasures we can find. Hopefully. Oh, did they put a sign out this time? I think so. sign was not there before. Are there any cars up there? That does work. I was... <laughs> it's a walk? It's a walk. I actually took it home and was going to keep it and I didn't have a place to put it. That works and the George Foreman works. I made sure that everything everything was functional. Thank you very much. Oh sure, no problem. Those books are from when I was a little girl. <laughs> Can I make a pile somewhere? Sure, you just it's like have maybe, these hands. Maybe like here. Okay, so it's yeah, dry. I'll be out of the way of people. Oh, poor Papa, he wants to. <laughs> he wants to come out. It's hard when mommy walks away. Aww. Building too? In that building too. Alrighty. Yeah. That has most of the antiques. Okay, I'll take a look. <laughs> well, put it this way. If they do, they're not going to run real fast. I mean, I took some of the touch figures. Which yeah. we don't, oh, they just didn't have the strength to bring them back. They should be here, oh, but they're yeah, not. I have to, I I mean, they're, 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 oh my God, they're this high, and whatever this weighs, they weigh four times more. Oh yeah? Each one you of them. And I mean, they will oh, be. Okay. I mean, we just couldn't get them back here in time. Hey, you're from the Titan. Yeah, I said. Wow, five dollars. Yeah. That's a great degree. Yeah. But I have no room for it. Hey, right now, we're up on uh, 824 Columbia. All the way up to the top of the far east end. Uh, there's a little church back in there. And oh, okay. Did stuff. you have... You ready? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ready? Let's see if I'm looking for anything else. Don't let him over there. Don't let him over there. 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 Let him over these are really nice. Because we got a problem like in Bonner, and people walk their dogs down the alley, which isn't a good thing to take a garbage bag. I wonder if these are good. Stuff gets spilled, people put things, all kinds of toxic things in the garbage bag. They must.
exhausted, but... flip this for five dollars we're gonna grab that was it worth waiting an hour for that sale there were a lot of really nice things it turns out pretty much all of the vintage toys were the woman's they were i think cleaning out that home and so she couldn't believe that her parents had saved all of her toys up in the attic she did state that there were a large amount of her old stuffed animals, but mice had gotten to them, unfortunately. So I'm pretty sure they probably just threw them all out. It was a mixture of prices. Some items that I thought would have been more expensive were cheap. And then other items, I'm guessing perhaps they looked on eBay because I think at a typical estate sale, you know, you're not charging $24 or $25 for a puzzle. Just my opinion, which could be right, it could be wrong, but that has been my experience with estate sales. But this was run by the family, so who knows. I did pick up some things. Um, some of the items that are going to be strictly for flipping, it was the Matchbox City case, play case, the truck and the bistro chairs, which were my absolute favorite. They were only $2 a piece, which in my mind is a great, great price. They are older, they are much heavier than they look, and I think that they are quite pretty. They have that just the right, just right amount of chippy paint. You have the red paint that you can see in some spots um, through the green paint. So those will go to the flea market. I will not be keeping them. I don't have space for them, but I think that they should be, hopefully, they will be quick sellers. Now for the other items that I purchased, we have this little dog print. It's only a dollar. It's two little puppies and then the other puppy coming up behind them. The best deal I thought that I got besides the chairs were the vintage golden books. I bought two packs of them. This one has 16 books and the other one has 16 books. Each pack was only $3. Now I didn't open this up. I didn't, you know, sort to see what books were in there but let's do that now sneezer <gasps> the big red pajama wagon well this looks like fun what's that about does he sell pajamas wow there's a lot we're riding at a corn popper oh that's fun i want this kind of car this truck that's a fun book jolly jingles The Campbell Kids at Home. <laughs> Walt Disney's Mother Goose. I have seen this one around before. Mickey Mouse and the Missing... Mickey Mouse and the Missing Mouseketeers. <sighs> that's a mouthful. Walt Disney Zorro. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, Goofy the Goat. Mm, plagiarism from uh, Disney. This does look like Campbell Kid people. Oh, these are great. Oh, this next one looks like a keeper. Three little kittens who lost their mittens. Oh, I want a little cat. I said, I commented on one of the viewers' comments that maybe if when I reach 50,000 subscribers, I'll reward myself with a little baby kitten. Oh, that'd be so cute. Counting rhymes, paper dolls. The white bunny and his magic nose. Oh, I have seen this one before. The good old gingerbread man. He looks rather plump. And let's see. What other ones? The Lord's Prayer and the Beatitudes. 
The Quiet Little Indian. So these are Wonder and Golden. Teddy Surprise. And these are Whitman. Oh, these are cute. A wee furry kitten as black as ink. Oh, look at that little monkey. So that's one pack. I mean, $3. That, that's great. And you think that I've come across people at flea markets that want to sell one book for $3. And here I get 16 for three. Beat that. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this next bag. So this is like an un unboxing of mystery books. Columbus the Exploring Burrow. Oh, he's so cute too. Oh my gosh. Jerry Muskrat. <laughs> Everybody lends Jerry Muskrat a hand and Reddy Fox takes a bath. Who's giving this Muskrat a hand? Daniel Boone. My puppy. Frosty the Snowman. What a classic. It's going to be Christmas soon. Sometimes I think I should just skip over decorating for Halloween because I still haven't. I'm so behind on things right now. I can't even explain it and just put up Christmas. But then I tell myself, no, you love Halloween. Get to it. Brave Eagle. Prayers for children. Oh, her little eyes. Uh-oh. Night Before Christmas. That one's a little broken. A Bonnie book. That is a really cute, classic Santa Make Believe Parade, Quick Draw McGraw, that's a part of what the Hannah um, Barbera, the Three Bears Visit Goldilocks, oh another Mickey Mouse, goes Christmas shopping, this is so adorable, I've never seen this one, the Big Brown Bear, he's fun, <laughs> he'd be needed on a shirt as they say, he reminds me of the bears from um, the Country Bear Jamboree at Disney. Sleeping Beauty. Speaking of Disney, these are in kind of rough shape. Baby's, mo Baby's Mother Goose Pat a Cake. There's not a cat again. It's a sign, Renee. And the last one, the classic baby farm animals. That's a cute book on the back. I mean, cover, back cover. So, what a deal. I spent $18 total there, which was not bad. There were a lot of other items that I liked, but again, the pricing just was not, um, wasn't what I wanted to pay, whether for resell or saving for myself. You know, she had the McDonald's glasses. What else what were there? Um, some doll clothes. I think those were $15 for both boxes but there weren't that many pieces in there and some great vintage games and vintage puzzles. You know, I could have, I could have messed up because I didn't stand there and look up every single one on eBay. I don't really like to do that. I don't think that's, I don't know. I like to base it off of my feelings, my gut instinct, and I don't want to spend, you know, 98% of my time at an estate sale looking online when you know there could be something hiding in a little corner or under another box that is, is great, but I miss it because I'm too busy with my nose and my phone. But anyway, I digress as always. I hope you enjoyed this. Was it worth the hour that I waited? It was, at least for the golden books and then for those chairs too. Will I venture to a sale that early again? Everyone says early bird gets the worm. Well, <laughs> this bird was up way before the worm. <laughs> It was still fun though. And you know, that's, that's, that's good when you can walk away and you still had a fun time and you found some treasure. That is a good day. And I hope you have a good day as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up, click it. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe. This way you'll always be in the know on all of my adventures. I go on many. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. I will see you all next time. Thank you.